This is the place where sports opinions collide, dead in sports. Um, it may seem like we're back, but we're, we're not. Um, it's light work. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for those of you that don't know, I know we've been promoting that we were going to uh, stream the finals live, and we did that. Every I would, single game, too. Yep. Every single game. All four all, of them joints. How about that? All four <laughs> of them joints. I predicted a sweep, and damn it, it was a sweep. B was right. Yeah, B yeah, was you right. called it. I was wrong, uh, but that's not not usual uh, when it comes to me picking with my heart. But, um, yeah, I'll drop the links to that. That'll be in the show notes. You guys can go, go watch all of those. Um, also, I'm thinking about just – maybe putting together a compilation of the biggest moments from, you know, the game. Uh, that's gonna, just going to take work. That would be dope. Yeah, so you guys can just go watch the the shot, the J.R. Smith play, <laughs> uh, K, uh, uh, KD going off, um, just all of that. And then the, the meltdown from uh, game four. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, so we're just going to – Wait, wait, hold on. Now you're forgetting a couple things. Now oh, you're forgetting a couple things. First off, um, if you don't, if you didn't watch the finals uh, with your boys over here at Dead End Sports, and you actually want to go watch it live, go check out Seat Geek, man. Download the app. You know what I'm saying? Tell you, tell Seat Geek your boys done hooked you up. Use the promo code Dead End, mm-hmm. and you gonna get a discount because FIFO cares, man. Because because yep. Dead End Sports cares, man. So you know, go go check that out. Um, but yeah, man, go, go, going into the finals and I guess where we are in the aftermath of things, we're, we're, we're looking at a very fun filled summer. We are looking yes, at, indeed. um, you know, the decision part two, mm-hmm. I think LeBron personally is going to handle it better. I don't think is it he, part three, technically, I guess decision part one was him going to Miami. Yeah, it is part three. I, I guess so it's part, part three. was him, the player's tribute saying, I'm of course. going back home. Yeah. So this is Part three. So part three. Okay, fine. But I, I, I mainly called it part two because this is the second time he leaves Cleveland mm-hmm. versus him coming back. But I feel you. Either way, um, it, it's it's LeBron. It's a LeBron summer again. You know. Yeah. It's all. It's LeBron. Everything. Yeah, always. Be, it gonna, is. We're gonna be hearing about this all the way into you know he make his decision July first. Yep. I wonder Man, if he's gonna do it via about, play a tribute again or or what. I don't know. What was he about to say? We heard about it. Throughout the whole off, yeah, the whole season, season. yeah. Like, uh, don't know. forget, even once this season is over, we got LeBron. Yep. What he's gonna do? Yeah, like, mm-hmm. yep. yep. Let me before we get into that. Um, let me ask you guys, what what you guys think about the broken hand? It was a broken hand. Like I, like I, man. Look, we, it, obviously, man. You guys listening? Me, me, and these guys, we talk off camera, off the mic a lot, especially about sports. I, like I told y'all, man. I think that. He was damned if he did, damned if he didn't. I think mm-hmm. if, if he said it during the finals, people would have had some negative to say about it. He says that after the finals, people have some negative to say about it. You know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. The man got hurt. He is hurt. You look at his hand, it looks swollen. It don't look like his left hand. It It, it, it is what it is. Like, I don't. He didn't make an excuse, right? No. He, he went out there and he played and he scored 25 plus every damn game. Like so He didn't make an excuse. Then why are we feeling a certain type of way about it? Right. That's what I was trying it to tell people my, just want to just pick on LeBron just to pick on LeBron. But, you know, my my brother had a reaction. Um, you know, son, he was like, oh, man, look, at because I guess he, does, he doesn't like LeBron. So mm. I haven't had a chance to talk to him about that. So big bro, I'm going to have to do big bro stuff. But, um, but yeah, he was like, oh, man, this dude with a broke hand. Look at LeBron. Just – Triggered, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, basically it says the same thing you just said. I was like, well, like, when is a good time to say you have a broken man? If he got a broken hand, he just got a broken, broken hand. hand. Like, right. what do you expect to do? And the thing about it is, I don't know, like, during the the games, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I was like, dang, LeBron missing a lot of layups he would normally make. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, at the rim. So, and, and you know, that's. Yeah, possibly that could, could have had something to do with yeah, it. Yeah, and that could have had, had something to do with it because, you know, he would get to the rim and he was just, he just was missing. It was just weird. And I said that during the broadcast. It was there. Mm-hmm. So, and then to find out he had a broken hand, I was like, oh, well, that could explain some of the missed shots. Mm-hmm. It had nothing to do with the outcome. Mm-hmm. But, it you know, definitely probably impacted him missing shots he normally would make. But. You know what it is. Yeah, what so, it is. so so instead he of scoring, did it, he did it for his frustration after game one. That's right. what yep. I keep hearing. Yeah, he, yeah. So. Damn. 
Damn. But that's why game one was so important. Important. You know what I'm saying? The way that they lost, man. Because like, maybe it could have went six if they had got that first exactly, game. It exactly. Went, it would have been more a competitive series. And be you, I, I don't know if you had heartbreak in your yes. basketball career. Yes. Right? Yeah. You already know when you take a loss that you're not supposed to take, mm-hmm. you are mentally deflated. Yep, you are. It's extremely difficult to get over that, especially only after a day or two. Yep. Especially like if you had a week, two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It is the regular season. We yeah. lost that type of game, and I know I'm gonna see you right, in two weeks. Right. Oh, two days, that, that's gonna yeah. be a different game. Mm-hmm. But two days later, you saw it. Still, yeah. You saw it. Those guys in game two came out flat the entire game. They were flat. They had a couple of runs here and there, but and they, they were still pretty didn't much flat. Get blown out. They didn't get blown they out. They really didn't get blown out. They you didn't, know? but 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 they were flat though. Yeah. So imagine if they would have won the game one. And Golden State would have came out like the same way that obviously mm-hmm. if you lose on your home court, you know game two, you coming out all guns blazing. Mm-hmm. But let's Good just man. say, right, the the, the hypothetical Could've situation, gave some confidence. you know, Golden State would have came out the same way, and Cleveland would have had more. What if they would have went up two zero? Right, yeah. like what if? That, yeah. Like we're talking a whole different series. Yeah. I don't. I picked Golden State in six. You know, I gave LeBron credit for one. Mm-hmm. To me, that was the game. That, that was, was game one. one. That was that one. You know what I'm saying? The um, you know, one of the other games I felt that Golden State being too cocky would have gave one up, but they just had too much. That's why I think people, you know, criticizing him for being swept media pundits, and I get it, and probably other people. It's like, well, you know, you know let, let, let's just call him out, Stephen A. Smith. You know. You can't get one. You can't get one. AI got one. He had one. He had one. And didn't AI get the first one? He got wasn't the first, it the first one. game in yeah. LA. And then got and, and, then, and that straight. was it. <laughs> and that so, was it. You know that one game that 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 you're talking about, he and had. maybe other people talking about. He he had it. Fifty point triple. Ma- I mean, what Magic else? got swept in the finals twice. You know, he got swept by Dr. J and Moses Stop Malone. Stop with the facts, B. See, Stop it, with well, the facts. I'm just saying. Any facts. B, do we talk about that now? That's what I'm saying. Magic got, he got swept in, in, in the uh, 82 finals to Philadelphia, Moses Malone, Mo Cheek, and J- Dr. J, and he got swept by my Pistons. So he got swept twice in the finals. We don't need any so, facts on this show so in I'm just, sports. So sports. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, Mad, the great Magic got swept as well. The great Shaquille O'Neal got swept by Elijah Wine. You know sure what I'm saying? Did. Like. It happens. It happens, man. It just it happens like that. So and 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 that Magic team was good. Uh, like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was, was just good. it yeah. was just experience. You know, the Nick Anderson game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, I, he I, missed I, those two free throws. I attribute, him, right? yep. Yeah, yep. I attribute a lot of that to Nick Anderson missing those free throws. He, he, he was His done. career was not the he same. Was done. That he was so was crazy at all. That was so crazy. We all off topic, but yeah, I'm just yeah. remembering no, that. Remember, like, because yeah. yeah. he was a solid two guard yes. throughout his career until Three that. And D. Until that, I'm yep. like, man, he He's just never bounced back. Nope. And I think they did a doc. I think yeah, ESPN has. I think he said that. Like he was like, I just you know, my confidence was gone. I just couldn't recover. That yeah. means J.R. Smith and George Hill, they're they are finished. Wow. George uh, J.R. Smith may not ever play again. <laughs> he, you know what? When this contract is up, yep, he's done. I think he's, he's done. done. He's yeah. done. He's retired. Because like, like, he who, came in the league like, what, 04, 05? Yeah, like, he, he came in time? like straight out of high school. Yeah, right you know, from, from Jersey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So, so hey, look, man, um, I don't like to be the type of guy that predicts People's career ending or not being able to get back into the league, but I, I think I think my my record is pretty solid, and I don't think Jr. getting back after this well, contract. Yeah, I, I don't think so either. And, and you know, maybe wait, hold on, maybe on a minimum, depending on the squad, like he can go play for Golden State for minimum contract if he wants to play. If he wants and, to play, and that's what I think it'll come to. But I think just you know, um, his season, his last two seasons, and then yep. the the playoffs just. Averaging eight points in the playoffs, just not gonna cut mm-hmm. it, man. Just not gonna gonna get it done. But anyway, um, man, LeBron. So I think there's been a lot going on, right? Already. Mm-hmm. Did you have you did <laughs> you see the thread we was talking about, like him possibly Twitter? maybe going? No, no, no. Oh, in text? a text, a text uh-huh. thread, like him. Possibly going to Boston and yeah, they, yeah, yeah, and they, they they might trade Kyrie, man, yeah, and bring yeah. and li- what if Lil- but Lillard, I thought Lillard wanted to stay in Portland. He does, but he's shit. had some conversations with he management. Has. We don't okay. know what they are. Okay, but he has talked to management. Look, Portland. L- l- yeah, let's tackle it from Portland that. first, right? Like, Portland is in a precarious situation because they have so much money tied up. How do you improve? 
because you're not drafting them because they went to the playoffs. Right. You don't have the money to sign somebody. So at this point, you literally have to look at trading assets and getting things in return. That's pretty much where Portland is at. And if you look at Boston, not only can you replace Dame Lillard with arguably a better version of Dame, Arguably, I'm not mm. saying it is. Right, it's right. arguably with Kyrie, with Kyrie. With Kyrie. Mm. and then get some of them draft picks. It, 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 it kind of makes I know sense. That'd be nuts, man. That would be if he go if LeBron and Dame Lillard go there along with that with, with well, Tatum they, and Brown have, and yeah, Smart and Brown, on. Horford what? if he's yeah. still there, like man. Smart if he's still there because he, he yeah. wants 14 mil. Yeah, that would yeah. be nuts. But more importantly, Brad Stevens, right? Oh, of course, of course. Like you got to be like. All right, Golden State. Like we might yep. have. This is what I said before. I think either Game Four or Game Three. I was like, I was like, I actually don't have an issue with Golden State being so good because it's like mm-hmm. I, I want to see what teams are going to raises do. the bar. Yeah, I want to see what teams are going to do to try to to yeah. compete with. Because we saw what Houston did. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. We, Boston. They just had you know untimely injuries. Right, right, right. So, so I'm, I'm with. I'm, I'm with cool. you. Be. I mean, because it was even when Jordan was dominating the '90s, it was cool seeing all these East Coast teams, yep. these Indiana Pacers, yep. and these. Mm-hmm. Knicks and all them trying Even to the try. Heat. Yeah, he, with the with yeah, Zoe, with Zoe, Tim Hardaway, yeah. Jamal Mashburn, like Dan was, Marley. It was cool seeing teams trying to match them. Like mm-hmm. we trying to take out Jordan, PJ like, Tucker. Yeah, I'm, how did it, they uh, not beat the yeah. Bulls? Who that roster you just named? Oh, the Miami Heat. My God, because man. they didn't have nobody for Jordan. <laughs> it's just, but as God. simple as that. Damn. No, they, 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 they were they were they were and nice. in that Orlando squad too. That Penny and Shaq. Yep. They, I, I, they think they won like 60 plus games and, yep. and Jordan swept them in the yep. Eastern Conference Finals. Yep. Like, yeah, but that was man. get back though. Oh, it, it was. was. It yeah, was. It was. It was. Yeah, I'm just saying, but still, but I mean, nah, but, B, like, but B, you already know. You make Jordan. Yeah. Make, there's, there's, you made Jordan. Yep. There's a they select few players. Last year. Yep. 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 There's a select few players so in the history. He had of the NBA. that series circle. When, when, oh yeah, when you he, already when know. When he saw Orlando, he you was already like, know. oh yeah, I know I, I, you gonna get you gonna get all the smoke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 Jordan is one of those few players in NBA history. You make him mad. You already know he's gonna go score 35, 40 just off GP. You make him mad. He's gonna damn near score 60 on you. That Funny dude, thing scary, is, man. yeah, he is, and we forget that before that second three P, he got put out the finals. You know, right, the, 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 right, the, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when he came we back in forty five, forty five, Nick Anderson with that steal, with the steal. Yep. yep. We yep. think is he won three, retired, was mm-hmm. gone for two years, came back and won three more, yeah. and that that's. But not when he came back, though. it was like in the mid to late season. I understand, yeah. but yeah. but it's, yeah. it's I never forget the part of the story. I never forget that game against Indiana. He came back. It's like, oh, man, he had a couple layups. You saw a little bit of Jordan. And then the mm-hmm. next game was Atlanta. And he hits the game winner. You're like, oh, he's really back. Yep. But then you really noticed that he wasn't when he got to the playoffs. And they played against Orlando. Mm-hmm. And even Jordan in all the documentaries and everything, he talks about it where he said that that was the first time in his career that he felt he couldn't turn it on. Mm. Where it's kind of like okay, I need to be clutch. I need to be. Right. I need to be MJ. But that was just him being away for a while. It was. Baseball. It was. But it was. That next season. Oh yeah, it was a wrap. Freaking win seventy two games. On a tear. Games, <laughs> on a tear. He went seventy two and ten. Man, I was like, this dude, Jordan, yeah. man. Jesus so let me ask Christ. y'all: Do you think? And, and, and I know we 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 kind of going all over the place. We just talking shit. It's all right. That's um, good. do you think that Jordan, if Jordan didn't retire that first time, would he have still been undefeated in the finals? I, I would have so. loved to see him against that Rocket squad. Uh, because you know what? Oh, I would have loved him. to do, see him with that Rocket squad. Biased, do, do you know, I, I, I don't remember the, the, the time span, but I know it was within those championship runs mm-hmm. that they never beat Houston. I, like, I know. Houston would, like, literally slaughter them. Kenny they Smith didn't have, talk about it. Yeah, because they didn't have nothing Did no, they ever interview Jordan team? about that? Like what, Jordan, Jordan is on, I think. You know, he he's is, on record, yeah. and he said we didn't have nothing for Akeem. He said they, we he, was, stop he, he did right. not want to face because them. you got to yeah. think they centers was like no oh, Luke, Lone, Luke Lonely, yeah. oh, oh, you're Bill Winnington. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah. looking at the centers that they, they the Bulls had. Yeah, Cook. like even their power forwards because you yeah. got to remember they had uh, uh, Robert Horry, they had Otis Thorpe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they had size, and those guys they could shoot too. They were more Thorpe, mobile. Look, quiet as kept Otis Thorpe. I remember him being a rebounding Solid. machine. Mm-hmm. Solid, yeah. like he was with, a, with a 15 footer. Yep, yep. Oh man, yeah. I would have loved that. If we would have had a Bulls and Rockets finals in 94, man, I would have loved to see that. Or 95. So do you think Jordan's legacy changes if he would have been 6-2 and two in the finals? Lost the two to Houston? No, nah, because, I mean, look, Magic is 5-4. and four, And, you know, but we don't look at that. I mean, we you know we don't put a stain on that. 
We don't, but yeah, his legacy, people, his legacy people, would be different. I mean, even when people talk about Grace, nobody never say, oh, Magic went five and four in the finals. They don't never say that. They just like, say he won five chips. They just say he won five ships. Yeah, but is it because is it because like he was going against Bird most of the eighties and they dominated for a decade or what? What's Cause, crazy? Because because when we talk about LeBron, it's going to be three and six. Three and six, you know. I don't. But, I don't but, think but, they but, bring Matt Larry Bird. I think Larry Bird is three and two. Three and two. But yeah. but do you think that that's just moment talk? Like like see, I I think that once LeBron is gone and he's removed from the NBA as a player. You I know, think I think that's just this era. Like I just think that's yeah, moment. What you mean? Moment yeah, for talk? the moment. For 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 like. But do you right think now. it's just this social media area in? I, because I, even based off conversations my daddy's had with his friends, they never brought up, you know, Will Chamberlain's losing record in the finals. They never brought up Jerry West was fucking one for nine. I freaking think, one for nine. I, I, I think right finals. now there's just more players to be compared. Yeah. Com- you know, versus when your dad was growing up and he was watching all of these guys coming up. Like they it was, wasn't they that wasn't many saying, guys to compare to. Rings wasn't a thing, though. And rings weren't a thing. That, yeah. It wasn't that. So, so jo- It wasn't jo- a part of the formula. Exactly. And yeah. I think Jordan, because he went unscathed in the finals, yeah. is like, okay, this is the standard. Like, 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 it doesn't matter that Bill Russell won 11, right? Mm-hmm. We never seen him play. But at the same time, what, there was only eight or 13 teams in the league, so mm-hmm. winning 11 championships, how difficult is that? Let me, let me bring something else up, too. I don't, I don't think mm-hmm. Q mentioned this on you on Twitter because I know you're not really active, but Q, was it Q or was it Manny? He put a picture of, uh, it was like an old Sports Illustrated cover of Michael it Jordan. Was it was Q? Yeah. yeah it, he put up a, shout out to Q. Mm-hmm. Um, he put up a, a old a Sports Illustrated cover of, like, Michael Jordan, and it was like you know Nick. You see like Knicks and 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 you know um, well uh, red Man, you Pacers. And Barkley. Yeah, you and Barkley, and they were just saying like, is it pretty much saying is a competition weak? You know, like is a competition mm. level kind are of the, sorry. Are the good are, are, are the Bulls being, being good, good or bad, is the NBA bad or something or like NBA. that? Mm. And it made me think like if it's Le- the same thing. I was if LeBron it, like just imagine if LeBron James was like you know five and one in the finals or whatever mm. and keep winning. Because mm-hmm. you, you hear the narrative we are, and of people course. already saying about LeBron, oh, the East is weak. Yep. Oh, the NBA is so weak now because yep. it's not physical. Like, will we be saying that same narrative with LeBron if he had 6-1 six, six and one or 5-1 and one yep. in, in the championship? Like, what do you think about that? Like, seeing that they think about that about Jordan when we all claim that the 90s was such a good basketball. But not only that, they're saying that about the Warriors. Yep. They're yeah. saying the Warriors yep. are too good. That is ruining everything for the NBA. Yeah, no, it's not. It's, not. It, it, it's, it's actually setting a higher standard of mm-hmm. basketball. And then it, it, the way that they play basketball, right? Like Because these guys dominate within the system. The ball is free flow. It, it's beautiful to watch when, they, when they're when they running on all cylinders. But I think to the point um, of, of that article and that headline is that's what the media is paid to do, mm-hmm. is to create headlines and narratives, mm-hmm. right? Like we have to question – how difficult it may be if one person is that great. We have you you have to because it's not supposed to be that easy. Right? Like I when I think about that, I think about the time that I saw LeBron live. I'll never forget. Uh my fiance bought me tickets um when my, when LeBron was playing with the Heat. And it was a late game in April around my birthday. So you already know that he already was, they pretty much clinched playoffs. This was just like kind of a throwaway game. They could have lost every other game and still mm-hmm. made the playoffs, right? So D Wade didn't play this game. And I want to say, I don't remember if Bosch played or not. I really don't remember. But I remember watching LeBron. And the first thing that I thought to myself when I saw him was like, damn, that motherfucker's huge. He's like super big compared to everybody else. Seeing him in, like in, in person. Right, right. And then the next thing I realized, I'm like, man, what, what, what's he doing? He looked like a bum out here. Like, I was not impressed watching him live. When I looked at the scoreboard and this man had 27 points, eight rebounds, nine assists, I said, when? It <laughs> looked too easy. It, it really did. So it, it makes you question. Damn, his damn near triple double made him look like a bum, bro. <laughs> like because like bum. it didn't even look like he was doing nothing. It, it looked like he only exerted himself when he needed to. Like it, it, it just didn't look like he was going full tilt, which obviously he wasn't. Did the Hawks win that game? I don't remember. I think I went to a game where he played, and they were they were killing him. Uh, they they, and then the Hawks came back and won. I can't. This was a couple of years ago. But anyway, go yeah, ahead. I I can't remember. But either way, like. What that showed me was just the fact that some people are just so great that you can't quantify, you can't compare. They they just are. And it also made me think, like, 
if I was a media pundit, I get paid to watch this guy the entire season. And then I have to create narratives and headlines. What are you going to create if this guy, it makes it look so easy. Mm-hmm. Is, yeah. is, is the competition hard to the fact that he don't even have to play hard to whoop y'all. Right. Yeah. I mean, LeBron and, you know, I was going to bring this up when we were doing the, the live stream, but you know, I, I could, yeah, they haven't manifested themselves into titles, but LeBron is a dynasty himself. Yep. Mm-hmm. In the East. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's a dynasty in the East. Eight straight final appearances. Yep. Two yes. teams. Right. About to be a third. Right. Right. So, you know, that's going to be part of his legacy. Eight straight finals with three championships on that. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's so, and I, and I think that's something that people are not talking about. They're not going to appreciate it until once it's over. That's what I'm saying. They, yeah. They're not, it's, they, gonna, they ain't going to appreciate it. Till, once they look back, they're going to be like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. damn. And like, that's what I'm saying. Up. Like, people are prisoners of the moment yeah. because I feel that, you know, five to ten years after LeBron retires, you're not going to remember the failures. Right. Now, I, I I think the one that people will mention, the one that people will talk about, Dallas, Dallas, Dallas oh. yeah. because because yeah. that was a complete meltdown. Yeah, the first one he gets absolved. Like you had no business being in the finals. right, right in 07. Yeah, yeah. you had everyone no knew business. he was going to get swept. Exactly, Greg Pop was going to out coach yep. Mike Brown yep. around circles. The, the roster like, was the roster. Le, LeBron wasn't a complete player yep. yet. He didn't have a good jump shot, so it was just like so we knew yeah. basketball people knew. Okay, yeah. this yeah. like there's, there's no, no chance. way. Yeah, hey, you talking about Tony Parker in his prime, Ron right. knew in his you prime. Know, yeah, you know uh, Tim Duncan barely on the decline of his prime. Eric Snow and and Anderson Virgil and, 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 like and you know when I think Daniel of that finals, <laughs> you know what I re, you know what like like the first image that comes to mind yeah. when LeBron and Tim Duncan meet in the locker room right. like and in the back telling them, and yeah. Tim Duncan said thank you for giving me this one yeah. you know what I'm saying and then yeah. they laughed it off yeah. like cause they, they both they knew, knew man. like <laughs> hey and it came true it yeah. came true it you know and, true. and Tim Duncan said hey man it's gonna be your league soon bro mm-hmm. and it is um but I think that that 2011 Dallas series is, is definitely going to come back and th- that's the one that people are going to talk about. I don't think with any other superstar you talk about their losses, their f- sweeps in the finals, none of that stuff. But for LeBron, just him being LeBron, mm-hmm. that's the one that pe- oh, he's not that great. Look what happened in 2011. Okay, and you know what? I'm the biggest LeBron fan. You can even call me a stan. And I don't have nothing to say about that. He melted down. That was horrible, especially the run he had that year. He was extremely dominant. That was the first year in Miami. He took on that persona of being the villain. He embraced it, and he messed everybody up, including the youngest MVP ever, Derrick Rose, in and, and, and that Eastern Conference Finals. You know, like like he had an amazing run to get to Dallas and look like you play JV basketball. Right. Yeah. Um, all right. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's the talk, man. So, where is he going to go? I'm I'm holding serve. Um, I'm still saying Philly because when I look at it, and, 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 and I sound like a broken record, I just think that Philly's talent extends LeBron's career even further than what LeBron can physically man, play. So, you really think he's going to go to Philly? I just think that. From a personnel standpoint, with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, obviously big, let's knock on wood, stay healthy, um, especially Joel's case. But Ben Simmons being a 6'10 point guard, LeBron saying he wants to play off the ball. Right. What better way to play off the ball? In a system that we know works because it's derived from San Antonio. Mm-hmm. And we've seen, you know, Robert Covington got a nice contract because of the system. J.J. Redick thrived in this system. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we see the pick and roll action, but we also see all of the ball movement out uh, off of the ball. And I think that's what the difference is. And I think that, you know, you keep Braun off of the ball, run pick and roll with Ben Simmons, and you have Braun cutting all over the play. How do you guard that? Would they, would they be able to keep all their pieces and add Braun? J.J. Reddick probably have to go. No. So so they'll Man, probably trade They'll probably yeah. trade Robert Covington. J.J. Reddick is going to have to take a major pay cut. You know, and here's the crazy thing. I don't know if everybody knows this, but J.J. Redick actually took less money to go to Philly. So I think he made like $28 million this year on a one-year so deal. So take some more or less money? He's what? getting 20 yeah. now, right? I think it was about 20. No, it was like 28. He, he, like right now? Up there. Yeah, look it up. In Philly? Yeah, look it up. 
Oh. You, you, got, you got the iPad right there. I'm pretty sure it was, it was almost 30 million because Houston offered the man 30 million to come. Oh, okay. And he okay. declined it because he wanted to be closer to home. He's originally from Brooklyn. So oh, I didn't I, know that. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, when you play with Bron, you know you're guaranteed Eastern Conference final. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it don't even matter if everybody get hurt. You got LeBron on your team, you make an Eastern Conference finals. So I think because of that almost guarantee that JJ will take a lot less, you know, uh, but how much I don't know. Right. Right. Th- 23 mil. 23 mil. What do you think close. about um, Spurs going to probably make a push at – at Brian. I like it for the simple fact that, you know, I said on the last. They uh, have to make sure. I'm pretty sure they'd be like, look. You got to have Kawhi. Kawhi. Yeah. You get, we, 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 we there's no Kawhi, Kawhi. LeBron ain't coming. Right. They don't right. have enough money. Who? San Antonio? For, yeah. Well, they're going to have to move some guys, you know. And at the end of the day, the, the easy way into this free agency is always signing trade. So Cleveland can sign them and then they can trade equal parts, you know, so that way mm-hmm. they can acquire LeBron. Got to keep Murray, though. Yeah, I, I, I like him. I I I think I Keith think Murray. I think the and, and here's the thing, you know, you know he's a he's a client, clutch oh, sports. Really? Yeah. So you know, I, I think yeah. I think keep, they probably keep him. Brian Quad. Mm-hmm. I think they probably keep Lamarcus Kyle Anderson. Yeah. I think I think Lamarcus may be moved because no, it, I think they would want to keep at least them three. They may keep, not be able to. They may not be um, able to. And and let's be honest, Lamarcus disappears every playoffs. He's great in the regular season. Might that's give you true. a game or two in the that's playoffs, true. but that's it's a wrap after that. And obviously, you know, you got LeBron and Kawhi to shoulder the load, but mm-hmm. still, you know, yeah. like, he kind of weak in the playoffs. So Damn. I don't know. So um, Philly and I, L.A. If L.A. can, I think if no, L.A. can wheel in Chris Paul and Paul George, you think that. So can, how do you feel about that? I think that can. I think that can happen. I think if I'm if I'm Magic, like like Ken said, hell, they don't want Lonzo anyway. Yep. They you let Lonzo go. Hey, CP. And, and P- CP yep. and PG yep. <laughs> thirteen. But, if they, yep. I think if Magic can get those guys, and there, did you see? I think, uh, uh, I think what, Brown was it us that was talking? No, no, no. It was actually some of my coworkers. You know, LeBron's son enrolled in the, in the LA school. high school. Yeah. Yeah, because he's gonna play so, AAU. Out is there. that rumored? Is that official? He's gonna play AAU out there. Official. Yeah, it's official. He's gonna play AAU out there. So, yeah. like I said, I think if Magic can can bring out get CP three out there. And yeah. Paul George. And, and, he, and here's the thing. Out of all those young guys that the Lakers have. You can keep Ingram. Keep cool. You got to keep Kuzma. Keep well, he, 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 here's the thing. In all honesty, I might let – I'll trade Ingram. And the reason being is because you know that you can get he, – he's valuable in this league. Right. You know what I'm Especially for a team that's trying to rebuild and stuff like that. You could probably get a veteran piece for him plus some draft picks or whatever. Um, But I think the one guy that stays – out of all their young core, is Kuzma. Yeah, I was like Kuzma. Yeah. Kuzma has to stay. Yep, you got to keep him he, there. Because he, he's a big with size and footwork and shooting ability. And if you're going to play with CP, Paul George, and LeBron, you got to be able to space the floor and get buckets when you need to get a bucket. Who's your, who's your center? Uh, I don't know. Well, right now they have uh, under contract. Uh, they got to do something about Luau Dang. How many more years is is there on that contract? I think he has one. I think this is it. Okay. Um, they, of course, have Lonzo, Brandon Ingram. So, I think you can keep him. Who? Ingram? You, you, uh, what, I'm, what I'm saying is you could possibly keep him. You could possibly keep him. he's still him. on rookie right But now. what if you package him up with Luol Deng's contract to get another player in return? I will have to see who the player is. but Because um, how much is Luol making? Cause I know something ridiculous. 18000 18 million. 18 million. I'm sorry, yeah. So yeah, so um, this guy hasn't been in the league damn near three years, man. So yeah, mm-hmm. Kuzma of course, just stealing, stealing money, just stealing money. Enos, Josh Hart, Zubac, and Thomas Bryant, and Thomas and Zubac are the centers. Yeah. So and they're making Bryant is making minimum. Like I don't know how effective he would be as a center, but we've seen Jordan be effective without yeah, one. Yeah. So Look, when you got when you got your point guard is CP Paul George, and you got Bryant, it don't matter who the even, rest of the guys are really. Even with. Lonzo staying right. So mm-hmm. if if you can get a chance to use Lonzo and maybe in- Ingram to get CP three, you know, and Blue Al Dang or whatever. I don't know. I'm not mm-hmm. the contract whiz. Mm-hmm. But if you want to dangle them and use them as as weight, you you definitely do that. But with them already having the money to sign too, they don't have to do that, right? Mm-hmm. So LeBron wants to play off ball. You already got a guy that's past happy any damn way. Mm-hmm. Right. Lonzo would be almost a damn near perfect fit for him. 
as much as I've been thinking about it, like over the course of the season, I was like, oh, I don't know if that's going to work watching Lonzo. But now that I think about, now that with this new information, mm-hmm. it could work. But let me ask you this though, right? Like we seen CP's latest playoff run, mm-hmm. and we seen Lonzo's rookie year, and obviously Lonzo is going to get better. CP is going to get older, but Lonzo don't have no dog in him. And I and I think and I think that if you have CP and Bron, and Bron wants to play off the ball, that means that that point guard gotta have some dog in him mm-hmm. to go get it done when it needs to get done. And I don't know if Lonzo's at that point in his career. I don't know if Lonzo will ever be that. I think he's gonna be extremely passive. And I don't think that. And I've said it for forever. LeBron needs to play with a point guard that can score the ball. And I don't mean that he has to be scored first, but he ha- CP can score the ball. He can score the ball if you need him to. If you, if, 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 let, let Steph Curry shimmy on him one more time and yeah. see what yeah. CP do. Yeah. But let, let Steph Curry shimmy on Zoe and what happens. Yeah. Right. He's going to get shitted on. Well, right now, the and I don't know how much you guys make of this, and I probably should be making too much into it myself because I've always been feeling that it was going to be Philly. But they got the Lakers even. All of the signs seem to point to LA. You know, it's mm-hmm. starting to make me sick. And and wait, hold on, because you, you didn't even you didn't even drop the, the the info of what your boy said. Who? D Way. Ain't y'all? Ain't oh, y'all? lifestyle. Yeah, he wants to make a lifestyle move. Yeah, so so that what? Was the one that kind of did it. For LA, me, LA what, what, is exactly. The perfect, what LA better is the perfect lifestyle, lifestyle is there in America right, than right. LA? Then going right. to Philly, and you, know, you already I, got a home in Brentwood. Mm-hmm. I love Philly. Philly, man, I love everything about Philly. But I've been to Philly. Mm-hmm. Philly is yeah, not a lifestyle. Not a lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just not Philly a lifestyle. Philly would just be purely basketball. Yeah, yeah. And Philly. and you just said it. Like, if you're LeBron, you know, you can win a title wherever you go. You just need pieces around you. And they already Magic have. He got the money. He got, he the, got money the money. And, and, and he got that yep. one guy. You can basically pick who you want. Yep. Right. And yep. Let, 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 let's talk about. And you got young talent already on, they on the do. contract. Let's talk about. Kind of the understated thing that's happening here too. Who's the head coach? Luke Walton. Where he come from? Golden State. And he coached a lot better this year than he has in the, in the, than year one. And then you give him CP3, PG, and Bron. Well, we was doing that Golden State. We can recreate that. Let me ask you this: Say if like Ken scenario, if they if they don't get CP3 and they keep Lonzo, mm-hmm. where that other superstar? Who would you go after? Oh, wait, so but, you, you know, so we were saying CP, Paul George, and LeBron. Uh-huh. But say so if they got Lonzo uh-huh. and don't get CP3, but you get Paul George, and what's Bron- the other? Yeah, LeBron. But what's the other superstar they they get? I I don't, I don't know. Because, if they have the money, then yeah, you know what I'm saying. I so but Boogie, he, but, 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 he, but here's the thing with Boogie. Boogie's gonna take this next year off, so he wants the contract. But he's not gonna play the, the the year because he got injured so late. He's yeah, I'm not gonna say when he get injured. When? He got injured not too much before the All Star break. Mm-hmm. Before so the All Star break, it was before so, the All Star break. So but like it was January, maybe mm-hmm. late January. Mm-hmm. So he's not gonna be he back. Tore to his mid-season. Achilles, right? Yep. And he's a big guy, so he's not gonna be so back yeah, to mid season. He like, might as well take the month. whole yeah. season off. Right, because because there's no real reason to to try to make him come back, regardless of whoever signs him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get back healthy because we know what you are when you're healthy. I think Damn. with the Lakers, with LeBron, with LeBron's legacy on the line, I don't think he wants to leave anything to chance. The so only way he C- signs to C- the Lakers, CP, exactly, and and Magic is going to work that out. And here, and, and here is partly the reason why I say he is going to work. But, that hold on one second. GM too. Or, hold on one second too. Um, He's the president. Uh, president. Well, what's his name? Uh, Kobe's um, agent is the GM. I can't remember his name right now. But Cupcake. Cupcake. No, no cup that was the one before cup there. Ah. Mm. Uh, anyway, I but I know Paul George said he wanted he wanted Kobe's some money. Agent. Paul George wanted some money. They saying money. That, that, but they're saying that Paul George is. I mean, not Paul George. I'm Chris Paul. CB? Chris Paul wanted money. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, B. Yeah. B. Let's look. Let's just hypothetically. Yeah. Right? Let's just hypothetically speak here. Because he yeah. said he ain't gonna get no discount from Houston. You know, he want he want to get some max money. Let's say me and you, you know, we 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 hoopers, right? And obviously, we we good people's one of my best friends, and. We get an opportunity to play together, but you got to take five to seven million less. Mm-hmm. You gonna say no to that? You go, you, 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 right. you, you go bust some ass, man. right? You go, you you gonna take a LeBron so, discount? You might not take a Houston discount, but you gonna take a LeBron discount. 
Because okay, so if you see. don't do it now, right, you're, not you're, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna hoop a Bron. So, so if if there's gonna be so, any discount, it's gonna be a LeBron discount. So, uh, so, so let me ask you this: Do you think pretty much? So, CP3 seems like he's he can be the start of the domino effect because oh yeah, if he if CP3 be like, I'm going to LA, I'm going to the Lakers. Well, he wants Matt's money too. He wants a Matt's. That's contract. what I'm saying. But like, ma- like, like what people said, where if he just like, hey, look, man, we about we about to get LeBron and him talking. Yo, you just he go also there. wants a title. Yep, that's what I'm saying. So he might be like, yo, LeBron. Coming here, and you just got to sign on this dotted line. Bam, mm-hmm. take this it's five million less yep. or whatever. He, he'll take LeBron a is coming. LeBron yep, discount. LeBron, LeBron's gonna come here. I got PG thirteen coming mm-hmm. from o- OKC. Let's go. Yep, yep. Because at that point, realistically, Damn. the the way you have to shape out the rest of that roster, you just need specialists. even if, if even if they was able to keep like Ingram still and Kuzma, man. I, I think Randall probably be the only one that'd probably be shipped out. No, he he he. Here's yeah, the he's, thing: his contract's up. Yes. Oh yeah. So he, I mean, they won't. Yeah. He's, mean they he's won't not necessarily going to be shipped out. He's a restricted free agent. So what they're going to do is let the market bear to see what what somebody's willing to pay him. It, because obviously, anything over ten, twelve million, they're going to let him walk. Okay, yeah, you yeah. sign that offer he's sheet with that, that team, you're on that team yeah. now. Yeah. But if nobody gives him an offer sheet, he'll just come back for one additional year mm. with the Lakers. And wow. then he'll become a unrestricted free agent. I didn't. I, the more and more I, now that I've now that the season is over, it it's, seems it's time like, to really kind of process. It seem, yeah, it seems like. Yeah, forget LA. all the speculation through the season. Yeah, yeah whatever, yeah. whatever. Now, looking at it, hearing the pieces of news that drop out, what Wade said, looking at LeBron in the Lakers jersey, thinking about he just lost the finals. Mm-hmm. You know, to to help your legacy. L.A. has to be the move. It has to be the move. And, and it, you're going to the West, the tougher conference. So yeah. now all of a sudden right. you talk, talk some smack it's now. Cra- it's crazy as LeVar Ball always sound. But he he did make a good point on Undisputed Day saying, like, at this point, if LeBron can go to these different franchises and win, you know, that's that's going to pattern his legacy up. Yeah. Like, can you imagine if he go to the yeah. Lakers – and, and we go to the finals first year. Go to the finals or win a championship. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like he goes, he he go to all these different teams and won championships mm-hmm. at all these teams he went he he been to. So yeah, that's to get there. You got to beat the Warriors. You got to beat do. the Warriors. That's what I'm saying. And, and, and that's probably going to be the toughest competition. You got to get the Warriors. You got to get the Greg Pop, Pop possibly. You know how how beautiful would it be to see a Lakers Boston final? LeBron Kyrie. <sighs> like, can you yeah. imagine the story? Well, lines yeah. there? Kyrie won't be there. Well, here's the thing, if that Boston, Boston that don't Boston get scenario, LeBron. That Boston scenario, Kyrie probably there. I'll tell you that. That Boston but. scenario look crazy too. I oh think yeah, we was talking about it off off the microphone, but like freaking, they, you know, oh, man, Dang that Lillard, would be nuts. J- Jason How? Tatum, yeah. Jalen Brown yeah. with with Brad Stevens, Al yeah. Horford, yeah. Brian. How would you feel, Gordon? Hay- man, but but you know, oh wait, hold on, before you go, you know what version of Boston I would rather see personally. Mm-hmm. I'd rather see them try to move up in this draft, get Bo, uh, Mo Bamba, I, I, either Bo Bamba or Mo Bamba, one, mm. Bamba, um, and and write out what they have. And the reason why I say that is is because uh, Bamba is, I want to say he's like seven feet, but the man has like a seven nine reach. Yeah, his wingspan is it's nuts. ridiculous. It's nuts. Yeah. Ridiculous. And I've watched some highlights. I didn't really watch him a lot in college basketball this year, um, but I watched highlights. You can throw the ball anywhere near the damn backboard, mm-hmm. and he's going to go get it. The yeah. same way Blake Griffin did. He don't have the same bounce like Blake, right. but he has more length than Blake. And we already know the man, go, he's 19 years old. He's going to put on weight. He got broad shoulders. Right. No injury history. The man can shoot three college threes. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, if I'm Boston, I'm trying to be as young as possible and as good as possible. Yep. If you start making these LeBron moves, it makes you infinitely older and it closes your championship window. With or without Kyrie, I know, Ken, how you feel that Terry Rozier can lead this this team. I tell you like he this. He would not want Terry Rozier there. Who? I don't think LeBron Bron? would. Want, yeah. He probably would. Cause who else you gonna get? Not after what he did. Coming off the bench, though. I mean, okay, if you maybe. got Dame, if you still, if you starting with Dame, of Lillard, course. If you, if you, got if, Dame you Lillard, if you get yeah. a Dame in the LeBron yeah. move, of course. Yeah, but um, but but I think Boston needs to stand pat. 
I think they need to move up in this draft, get their big man, mm-hmm. and 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 go with this roster. Yeah. Because oh yeah. This uh, this roster just they look set and young. They they, 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 they cool. Exactly. They got they got Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Man. Exactly. Like, they 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 cool. Exactly. This this exactly. is like their. I think I was telling Kenneth. This is like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown is like their. Uh, Reggie Lewis and Lynn Bias that they got in the 86, mm-hmm. 87 mm-hmm. draft. Like they was get they was they was getting those two young guys that can play two positions, you know, because they know Burr was on his way out. That mm-hmm. big three was on their way out. Mm-hmm. We about to get Reggie Lewis and Lynn mm-hmm. Bias and be set for another, yep. you know, six, seven years. Yep. So yeah, it's crazy. Right, Shout so. out to Dwayne Casey, uh new head yes. coach for Detroit Pistons. I'm Glad excited. to see why it, do you why you why you like that signing? I like that signing. Who else we could have got? I mean, the dude, the man won Coach of the Year. He just, he literally just won Coach of the Year and got fired the same Bruh. time. He took he took a Raptors from twenty three wins there you go. and made them pretty much relevant again. Like he took them from twenty three to like forty something to like fifty plus for like four years straight. I mean, granted they had to go against the monster LeBron, but I mean it's LeBron. Hell, people had to go up against Jordan and, mm-hmm. and they and they got crushed. No so Blake this, this, Griffin on right. Toronto. No Stanley Johnson. We don't know what he's gonna be. Kyrie Lowry and DeRozan. Right. So I like that hire, man. I, 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 look, I'm always good. And you most time when brothers get fired, they don't ever get a head coaching job right away. So I'm glad I'm glad to see Dwayne Casey I'm get happy that, for that. Get just, the other it, chance. I, I, I mean, I'm not saying, oh my God, we about to win championship okay. in five years, right. but I'm just like, that's a good hire. I think that's that's a solid no, it, pick. It, it, it yeah, is. It's a solid it pick. Is, it is. Because I think from the other choice we have either Frank Vogel. Um, we they they interview uh, UNV, Michigan Wolverines head coach. Um, I, I'm surprised. They, I'm surprised. I didn't know they looked at Tom Izzo with all that smoke going on in Michigan State. I, that would that wouldn't have shocked me if they would have looked at him um, to take that head coaching job. But yeah, like who else? It's really like who else? He was the best candidate, I think, in my opinion. No, he, he was definitely the so, best available head coach. And, and my 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 thing is, hell, that should have happened sooner. To me, soon as Raptors was like, you're fired because we are already let go of Stan Van. So once we let go of Stan Van and then Raptors fired him, hey. So what do you think that does man. for Detroit then? I, I think that's the reason why I'm not so gung ho about the move because it's like, do the Pistons make the playoffs first year? With um, him? I would like. I would like to see how he's going to develop Stan Stanley Johnson because I feel like Stanley Johnson should be better. Uh, I, I think Stan Van didn't do a good job of developing Stanley Johnson. Yeah, I think he, yeah. I, I think Stan Van Gundy was a little too hard yeah. on Stanley. Um, I think I, I want to see how Stanley's going to going to react under Dwayne Casey's coaching coaching style. Yeah. Because I tell you this, um, for everybody listening, you know, I asked you guys on the live stream if um, you guys would be interested. Me personally doing it uh, during summer league, and a couple years ago when we saw Stanley Johnson, he looked like a man of most right, boys. Right, right, right. Like, and I'm, I'm like, oh, this dude about yeah. to be ready. Yeah, and it just seemed like he regressed. This is like, yeah. this dude shouldn't be regressing. He should be like, I, he should be like damn near like our second option at this point. Like, yeah, literally, our he should be a borderline all star. Yeah, he should be a borderline. He should be now at this point because yeah. we've seen him improve in summer league. I'm like, okay, this dude about to be ready, mm-hmm. but. He just keep – I'm like, come on, Stan. So, I hope Dwayne Casey can kind of spark him up a little bit. And like I said before, as much as I don't care – I still want to get rid of Reggie Jackson, but as much as I hate him, he, he we, we we have an impressive winning record when Casey Stan, will need Reggie Jackson. right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. He needs some – they need that stability at yep. that position. Cause we, and then this healthy. season proved it too because we was balling. At one point in the season, we were like a second seed team in the East. Reggie Jackson got hurt. And we just went downhill, and I'm like, damn! As much as I hate him, every time when he when he plays, we have a winning record. When he when he's down, we stinking. So I'm like, he must be some point of value to us. As much as I don't care for him, so but I yeah, I, I feel good, man. Like I said, Dwayne, the way he turned around the Raptors and made them relevant again after post Vince Carter years. Hey, look, I feel good, man. Hopefully, he can at least get us back to you know. I, I would like to see some second round. You know, let's get, let us get to the second round or something, man. Should I haven't taste playoffs? We got we got we got swept by Cavaliers what two years ago, and mm-hmm. then before that, we ain't made the playoffs in like eight years. So the Stanley Johnson series, yeah, yeah, Stanley, that's what Stanley was, was, yeah. And then that was. that following summer, he was looking good in summer league, mm-hmm. and me and people were like, oh yeah, that dude about to be a problem. Yeah, he about to take a step. Stanley thought he was on the level of LeBron. It, it, he was talking mess to LeBron. Went at man, LeBron man. a couple yeah, of he times. Was, yeah, he was like, he was dinging up. He yeah. was dinging up, man. But yeah, shout out to Dwayne Casey. All right, uh, just a couple, like one or two more things that we need to touch on. Um, Kyrie, man, 
You know, I I got a lot of flack for it on this program from <laughs> you guys and everybody else. Uh, it didn't seem like a thing, but it's a thing now. Kyrie has been vague about resigning. As a matter of fact, he hasn't been vague. He said it would be silly to resign now. Mm. Um, a lot of that's based around contracts and yeah. money and stuff like that. But but okay, but if we just stick it to the money, right? If we just stick to the money. Look at the contract that Kyrie signed previously, the extension in Cleveland, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he was literally right up under a $100 million contract, right? If the salary cap is only going to go up, why would he sign now? No, I I, I understand. It's Kyrie being Kyrie being a drama king. Of just course, drag, he's being Kobe Jr. Yeah, being very, yeah, very extra for no reason. Um, you know, he seems to like the attention. No, when when we were looking at something on the screen – the one thing I pointed to be on, on why he possibly would come back, and this is just new information to me, was 186 mil. Mm -hmm. You know, because the Celtics are the only ones that can offer him mm -hmm. that. So you know, the Knicks can't. But but if he if he gets traded, then they can. Ah, See, that, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So so whenever you get okay, traded, now, now you up the ante. Now yeah. I'm back where I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> back Look, where I was. When you get traded, your bird rights go with you. What bird rights are, it just allows the team to offer you more money because they can go over the salary cap to sign you to retain your services. So it doesn't matter what the hard cap is, all of this other stuff. If they want to offer you a max, they can do that. He so, going to New York. He going to New York. <laughs> but you know, you know, that Kyrie? Be, yes, absolutely. That would be perfect for him. No, it would be because he wants the biggest stage. You know, he's he he grew up there. Oh, uh, yes. You know, like he wants to kind of go back home, which obviously Boston is relatively close. He grew up in New York? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I want to say it was uh, Jersey. Was it Jersey? I don't remember exactly where he went to high school, so but I know I know it was over there in New York area. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, I, I I I can possibly see it happening only because Danny Ainge leaked the fact that Kyrie that they might lose Kyrie to New York. That's mm -hmm. the oh, look. Things don't get out that ain't supposed to get out. The reason why that's out is because it's a possibility that's where he'll get traded to. And like I said, all that's going to do is be able to soften the blow of trading Kyrie because once they trade Kyrie, it may not be for a couple of days or weeks where they can make the actual move that they want to make. So with all that being said, if they do ship out Kyrie, understand it's part of a bigger move because – I can't I can't think of another GM in the last 10 years to make the type of shrewd moves that Danny Ainge has made. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to question him. If he moved Kyrie, there's something else bigger coming back. It, that just is what it – he's not going to lose Kyrie for nothing. You know what I'm saying? He might get he might get the first pick. You know what I'm saying? You, we, we don't even know if Phoenix might be in the play right now, right? You we don't know if Phoenix says, "Hey, look, we'll give you uh the first the first pick for 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 this dude straight up." And they might have the first pick and like I think they have like the the 11th or 12th pick or something like that in this draft. You know what I'm saying? Like I I we don't know. Then you can package those picks. Up. I don't know. I just know that if Kyrie gets moved, Danny Ainge's got something big up his sleeve. Yeah, and yeah, he definitely does. And and you know, it's it's like when I've been saying the things that I've been saying about Kyrie, it, it, even though I use uh, Rozier um, as part of my talking points, it has really less to do with him. It just shows that he can be stable enough at that position. It's more about Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Brad Stevens, uh, these young guys that they have, and also about Kyrie's situation. Kyrie being on a two-year contract and maybe um, unwilling to sign back to that team and – also, Ainge looking at what this team did without Kyrie. Also, the fact that they got Gordon Hayward was a guy they wanted to sign him and partner up with uh, with Brad Stevens. And um, and just looking at just when you look, put it all on the board, it was like, okay, can we keep him? Do we necessarily need to keep him? And if we don't necessarily need to keep him because we see what Rozier can do, what can we get in exchange for him? Kyrie is, is never has to do anything with Kyrie. Kyrie is – where can you find talent like that? You can't. Mm -hmm. You can't. Um, but the, only, the only other thing that comes with Kyrie, of course, is injuries. Yep. And that yeah, hurts definitely. you. It hurt Boston. It yep. hurt the Rockets, yep. you know, in, in, in the playoffs. 
and you know it, it, it's a, it's a legit thing. So, but I think you know it. it I think injuries are kind of like college football. It's not if you get hurt, it's when you get hurt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because because if Kyrie would have got hurt earlier in the because um um when they won the championship, right? They, it wasn't Kyrie hurt earlier in the year and then he came back. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So it, it's all about it's all about the timing, you know. Um now since you opened up that can of worm, can do you think that if Boston was at full strength, they would have overtaken Cleveland? I think so. I think so, too. I In Game so. 7, given how things played out, replace Kyrie with, with Rozier. You already up 12. Yeah. 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 Kyrie's not going to let a 12-point lead <laughs> remember, disappear. Remember we were saying that to you. We was not. like, Ken, this is why nah. you need yeah, Kyrie. Yeah, I just like this with y'all. Know, Kyrie, but yeah, Kyrie was going to make that hold. Yeah, Kyrie was gonna make that hold, and 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 just like I think Chris Paul would have made it hold in in, in yep. Houston. Yep. Um, so but. I think this was prime for that Kyrie, like I'm not little brother moment. I I, he, I think this yeah. was prime for that. Obviously, everybody knew it was gonna be Boston, Cleveland at the, at, at the end of the season. At the beginning of the season, we knew what the end of the season was gonna be in the Eastern Conference. We knew that, and you know, forget Gordon Hayward. If they had Kyrie Irving in that series, I don't even think it goes seven, personally. And Probably. I think, and I think Boston wins. Probably. Um, so, the Warriors. Man, you know, the thing about the Warriors is they treat their franchise like it's NBA 2K. <laughs> of course. They really do. They don't care what people think. Nope. They just go get who they want. And then the other person they want to get, Anthony Davis. Mm-hmm. Anthony and Davis, KD, they and Steph to? Curry. Why shouldn't they want to? Jesus Christ. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I trade Clay and Dre yep, to get all day. Anthony Davis. You know, you, you <laughs> like, know I was talking to my coworkers me? today, and kidding? they were like, are you sure? I said, you, you, why? Yes, absolutely. Anthony Davis is generational. You know, Dray, Draymond Shit, is you got nice. him and KD? Like, Draymond is nice. Clay is arguably top five shooter all time. But, bro, you ain't AD. And you know what? Draymond, I think – his skills are going to diminish over the next couple of years. But he had a Harrison Barnes game series against, especially against Houston. He couldn't he hit anything. He couldn't hit anything. Yeah, he was. But, he, he did everything else on the court, which is what he it, does, and I know exactly, that's his thing. Exactly. But he was horrible shooting the ball. And when when they were winning championships before KD got there, he shot the ball a little bit better he, he than did. he did. He did. So there are some things that are deteriorating with him, probably because he's getting less shot opportunities with KD in there. I don't know. But he's old 17 mil and then 18 mil. And then Clay is old 18 mil next year. Now, he's already said, I'll come back for, you know, less. He wants to mm-hmm. stay there. Mm-hmm. Clay's good. Draymond, they haven't even talked about an extension with him. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like if you could put them two together. So, so let me ask you, right, and, and, and this is just – on topic, but a slight left turn. I'll be a Warriors fan, then. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, on topic, but a slight left turn. So, what do you think Boogie, Draymond, and Clay looks like with Drew Holiday? Playoff team. They are Rondo. definitely a playoff team. And Rondo, team. too. And Rondo. But, man, uh, I, I would be concerned. They Boogie, need a three. Boogie and Dre going to fight. Yeah. I don't think – I think they fight the whole NBA – <laughs> I, I, oh, no, shoot, that, that'll be the most attitude team because yes. you got Rondo, yes. Dre, and Boogie. I'm yes. telling y'all, man, Dr- Dr- at some point, Draymond and, and Boogie are going to come to blows. Draymond can yell and jump on KD, and KD will take it. But you, know what? Take an, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Boogie <laughs> bigger. Boogie, yeah. yeah. But it might be good for the both of them because Draymond, you know how we know how Draymond is. Mm-hmm. And if Boogie check him, then Draymond might be like, well, maybe well, I'm not the biggest guy in the room. Draymond told Tristan cuz Tr- Tristan like we ain't cut why? The, yeah. Like what are you cut doing? The same. We ain't cut the same. Why are you trying to shake his hand, bro? Right. He was like, I don't fuck with you. Yeah, why are you trying to <laughs> shake? Now you make yourself look weak. Yep. You don't do that. You let that be what it is. You just gave away all your collateral. People, you know, but anyway, um, mm. So yeah, that that would be that would be nice. That would, God, yeah. it was something else just popped in my head, but I can't remember. Wow! What it was. But, but yeah, eight, Miguel eight. Cabrera will miss the remainder of the season with ruptured biceps tendon. Wow! He's done. Christ. He's done. Yeah. Um, his career. But now AD to Golden State as a big three with KD and Steph makes it unfair, and this is the reason why I'm gonna tell you oh, it's I'm unfair. Sorry. No, you good? Yeah, you. <laughs> you saw that? You saw that? 
I'm fuck with you. You hear, you, you hear him say that? Man. He even took his hand away. But, um. Black ass. What the fucking Canadians, man? The, the, the reason why. Sorry, I love y'all. I'm trying to close this video. Hold on. No, you good. Yeah, go ahead. The reason why it makes it so unfair is AD does, I would say, about 90% of the stuff Draymond does in terms of glue and hustle plays and stuff like that. I mm -hmm. think Draymond gives up his body a little bit more than AD does. But the difference is, is that Draymond only does maybe 30% of what AD does. Right. Mm -hmm. In terms of being able to shoot the ball, being able to create his own shot. Draymond is amazing at creating shots because he's an amazing decision maker. But that's something A.D. is as well. Let's not forget A.D. used to be like a five something point guard and he had a ridiculous growth spurt that made him into the seven foot behemoth he is now. Um, you already have one unguardable player in KD. You have another unguardable player in Steph when he gets hot. And then now you have the third most unguardable player in AD. With the alpha mentality. With the alpha. So I, I don't know. And, and, the, and the, the craziest thing about it is he fits. He fits in what yeah, they want to do it. because you you because you put him in, in the Draymond spot. You put him at the top of the key. He's the one that handles the rock. You allow Steph, you know, to play off the ball. You run pick and roll. It, it, nothing really changes. The only thing that would 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 be difficult for Golden State. How do you replace Clay? Because Clay allows Steph to be Steph offensively and defensively. And if you lose that. Who are you replacing? Because Swaggy ain't the guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I just I don't know what two guard you get that can guard smaller and bigger. There's not many two guards in the NBA that can do that right now. They can guard their size or smaller, but not many of them can go bigger. And Clay can guard bigger. So I think that that makes it tough for Golden State to try to replace that. But I'm not I'm not I'm not crying and boohooing. Mm -hmm. You got A D. Yeah. Um That's crazy. Yeah, I, I thought this was interesting, uh, David West, and I guess maybe we'll find out, maybe we won't. But he said oh, that the internal uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really want. And Sean Livingston too. Did you see what yeah, he said? Yeah, yeah. So shout out to Kerr for keeping all this inside. That it'll be interesting to hear what it what it years was. down the road. Yeah, years down the road. Um, I can't even even speculate. And normally, I'm pretty good at stuff like that. But it, I I I think off rip, you already know Draymond had a couple tips with with, with players. KD. I think Pop, it was KD. Yeah, I think it was KD. Um, I think that, um, you know, I, I don't know exactly, but I, I could tell you this. Four straight finals takes a mental toll. All that basketball, all of that executing, all of the pressure moments, all of that shit takes a mental mm -hmm. toll. Yeah. And I think, I think that, you know, a lot of those guys are mentally tough. David West is – extremely mentally tough. Draymond, I think, is mentally tough. I think Clay is mentally tough. But at the end of the day, you know, seeing the same 11 other guys outside mm -hmm. of yourself, you're traveling, you're doing this, like, it, it's it's just tough. And, and, and I can't even imagine the type of thing, because just think about it, man, you're talking about privileged dudes with a whole bunch of money that are young. You don't know what type of shit is These being said on the airplane. Sons of basketball players. That too. That too. Very privileged. So, you know, I I can see a lot of stuff happening, and I think any, almost any other coach, they would have this thing would have would have unraveled. Ugly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But because Steve Kerr won championships as a player, five of them, Play with the greatest. Play with the greatest in terms of Michael Jordan won a three-peat with Mike, then went and, 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 and won with Tim Duncan and them boys and got, obviously, the tutelage of Popovich, and he had the tutelage of Phil Jackson, and he had the Genesee Qua of a GM that put the whole Sun seven seconds or less together. Mm -hmm. He just ha he, He's the perfect guy to handle this squad. It, yeah. just, it is what it is. I wonder if... What impact, if any, will KD winning that MVP have on this team? KD was clearly – I mean, Steph was clearly going for it. Especially um, in that fourth game. You saw that they were kind of giving, trying to get him shots. Yeah. Yeah, he was going for it. I know he, last year he said, hey, 
I'm willing to sacrifice. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know. We don't so, know what the miss is saying at the house. So you think there's some dissension between uh, the greatness of Steph and KD? <laughs> it's these two titles are vastly improving KD's legacy Mm -hmm. a little bit more than Steph's. I think Steph is is cemented as the greatest shooter of all time. Yeah. That's not, that's not going anywhere. A finals would definitely, a finals MVP would add more to that to go with two MVPs. Especially because he's the only unanimous MVP ever. And you're not a finals MVP. How? And as long as KD on that team, you may not ever Ever be one if you guys keep going to the finals because I mean, he's virtually unguardable. He can do what he want to do on the court, you know. So he'll always put up numbers, and he'll always have a game or two like he did in Game Three. So I mean, you got to be, you got to go Jordan. You got to average forty one and eleven, mm-hmm. you know, to to get that. Um, so, but you know, I, I don't know. I, I think they seem to have a good working relationship. At least we thought until David West comments, and it all depends on what his comments are. We may never know. And if not, then that's okay. I think the last thing I got, and we're going to get out of here because we've been here all day. Um, make sure you guys check out Dead End Hip Hop's uh, upcoming review of Kids See Ghost and the podcast. Kind of crazy as hell. <laughs> and, 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 of course, the podcast. Subscribe to Is the Mic Still On Podcast. Um, has KD passed LeBron? Mm-mm. Okay. No. Y'all no. still got some sense. Super simple. Super yeah. simple. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, just one more thing. I, I got to just say this real quick. Um Dante Water and Anthony Joshua just agreed on the terms for a fight, hopefully this fall. Um, Dante Water's going to go to UK and fight Anthony Joshua. This is for the heavyweight for pretty much all three of the belts. Uh, so that will be dope. And Terrence Crawford, I don't know if I had sent y'all a text about that fight that was that mm-hmm. came up this past yeah. weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Crawford is the real deal. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, this dude is a real deal to Walter Wh- Welterweight. Um, I want him and Errol Spence to fight for that 147 crown. That, that, these are the two fights I'm, like, really, really, really anticipating. Like, I will pay money to see both of these fights. So, now that, now that we, like, we got an agreement with uh, Dante Water and Anthony Joshua, so I'm just waiting for Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. to, to, to make some something happen because I'm excited for that. And Crawford is that. He's the deal. Yo, one more thing. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Let, let, let's end here. Let's talk about that um, ninth wonder post that you sent to us, or that you tagged us in. B. Yeah. How oh, do so you, you got that? It? Yeah. I oh, saw okay. I yeah, that. I, I couldn't. I couldn't tell. Yeah, um, I looked at it. Ninth wonder, no better dog. Yeah, but you know he cakes for Jordan a lot. He cakes for him a lot. I mean, he have every reason to. I mean, you know, but That's he's fun. the greatest, right? But yeah, so I get it. But 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 it was but, one where he was putting. I think 41. you said it. You was like, well, how is the Sons of Warriors? Like, yeah, when did the Sons, when become, the sons the become the Warriors? Exactly. Yeah, like, nah, bro. Nah. Like, no, no, no. Jo- jo- Jordan didn't have the level of competition that Golden State is providing LeBron. Right, and we and we talked about this. Like, you know, you can honestly say that Bron has played tougher opponents Teams, in the in finals. The finals than, in the and, finals. Yes. We're not talking about the, the road East, to the finals. Exactly. We're just talking in about the in the finals. Like, if you look at each team final by final, I was Jordan LeBron. never played a destiny, or, or a destiny, a dynasty, a dynasty. A dynasty. Yeah, like, he never played a dynasty squad. Not in the finals. You didn't play. You, 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 LeBron has faced the Spurs three times. Yep. You know that's a, a dynasty. dynasty. A dynasty Spurs. Yeah. We talking about and a team. Golden that, State. We talking about a team that's won fifty games for like nineteen, almost years twenty years. Yeah, almost nineteen two decades. consecutive years. This team has won fifty games plus for nineteen straight seasons. LeBron had to face this team three times. You going against a seventy three win Golden State squad, mm-hmm. a Golden State squad, a seventy three win Golden State squad that added K D the second best player in the league today. Like, come on. I mean, the only teams I would give you that you could probably Dallas. say is Dallas and the young OKC. Yep. Like they wasn't ready yet. No, so they wasn't you could ready. probably say a Phoenix Suns over that OKC. Of or course. you can say the Portland people sleep on Portland Trailblazers. That was a tough squad too. Portland Trailblazers over the Dallas squad. But That's other it. than that That's it. That's, That's it. it. I like, but, but you know, like it was interesting looking at the numbers, yeah, right? yeah. Because you know, jo- Jordan was leaps and bo- like, man, that dude averaged like four. I forgot that one year. Ah, I did been, too. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I was like, I oh was like, shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jordan was out there yeah. murdering fools. Man. And if you look at it, Pippen averaged twenty or right around twenty right around every like year, eighteen except, to like yeah, twenty, yeah. eighteen to twenty, except for one year where he averaged fifteen. Yeah. Um, but I want to say that that year also Tony averaged 15. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then we also know being basketball players, students of the game, stats don't tell everything. I I, I always ask people, mm-hmm. 
Name me one player that LeBron played with that was as great as Pippen defensively. Never had it. So Pippen didn't have to score points because he shut other he guys, down. guys down. And then yeah. he, and then let's not forget, right, that Jordan, first. Jordan was shutting people bro, down. Of we're course. Just, we're yeah, just talking about this roster, which is what the conversation is about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what that post. Because he was post- screenshotting number of rosters, right? Yeah. yeah. He talking about that, that Bulls roster and talking about uh, Michael Jordan didn't have help. He had Pippen. He had Pippen. LeBron, LeBron's Pippen was D-Way year one in Miami. Because after that, D-Way broke down physically. Uh, I would say a couple of maybe. They had at least three years. Yeah, I was about to say maybe That two fourth years. year, he, he was done. He, here's the, the, the reason why I only yeah. say year one is because defensively, D-Way wasn't the same anymore after that first year. They won back-to-back second, back titles. They, I'm not saying that they didn't win back-to-back titles, but what I'm saying is, is that D-Wade – was wasn't the same D Wade that first year. I say when I say when they beat San Antonio, I was like, okay, Wade is starting to kind of go down. That a little the bit. the second title, yeah, the second one, the yeah. second one, yeah. When they beat when they beat Spurs in seven, or, or I was the, like, oh yeah, because yeah. it was clearly like yeah, he, Brown was clearly yeah. putting them on their shoulders yeah. that time. Yeah, it, it, you know, it but the OK, he was still. They beat OKC way. Was, Which that's year one though. Yeah, that's, that's year, year one. one. I, year one is. I thought you were talking about Dallas. You mean like year one when they? Oh won. well, no, 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 no. Yeah. Year one is Dallas. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, yeah. That's Against OKC, Spurs. nah, nah. That's he got off. Spurs when they beat Spurs, I got the pad. When they beat Spurs, the Ray Allen three series, mm-hmm. that yeah, Wade. That's when I was like, okay, Wade. Okay, he, he, Wade is coming down from that he, hill. Yes, like, he is. Like he yes, he was. Down. Yes, like he, he was. Coming was. down from the hill. Uh, but you know, like my thing is, is just Pippen didn't necessarily have to score. Jordan took care of that, but right. Pippen shut guys down. And let's not forget in that first finals. Magic had his way with MJ. The tie turned when Phil put Pippen, Pippen on Magic. Magic. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Pippen was just that good defense. No, he was. He had more size because yeah. Jordan Magic was trying. Just too big. For he was. Too, he's too yeah. big. We don't need these facts. Jo- yeah, jo- saying, Jordan was. was trying to put physical pressure on him, and Magic just put his booty on him yeah, Magic, and just backed him down. Magic what you gonna like, do? Uh-huh. And I yep. can still see. And I can still I see. I can still see. Boop. 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 Yep. Well, I'm like, what you what you doing right here, Jordan? I'm six. Yep. I'm six nine. Yep. You six six. What, what you what you gonna do with this? Yep. What you gonna do with this right yep. here? Yep. Like, like I can, I still got my vision. Yep. I can still and then and then once they put Pippen on him, yeah. it changed the series. It changed the series. Yeah, because Pippen wingspan. Yep. Pippen wingspan. Yep. He he bothered Magic. Yep. Magic couldn't do those overhead pass. Yep. Like because uh, let's be honest, like at that point, Magic lost a couple steps. Like he wasn't right. the same quickness right. and the flair. He still had flair. Ma- right. Magic steps on a basketball court right now. He got flair. And he was not. Yeah. He wasn't. <laughs> no. So you know, like, 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 pe- pe- people be forgetting these little things, man. Like Pippen was integral for them to win championships. Like you know how I be saying that Steph. I mean, uh, Clay's very important to Steph's game. Mm-hmm. Pippen was extremely important to Jordan's mm-hmm. game because he took off a lot of pressure defensively. Now, and I know Jordan had the dog. And, hey, bro, like you, I don't care about what it is. Mm-hmm. You not gonna score. I, I give him all of that. Big time difference between. What Le- uh, what Jordan had in that, and what LeBron does defensively, big time. I give him that, but there were certain opportunities where, like like against oh, Allen young, Houston, yeah, young young LeBron. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, like like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan had problems with Allen Houston, bro. Allen Houston used yeah, to crap yeah. on Jordan, bro. Allen Houston Twenty had, some yeah. point, thirty some point. People couldn't stop Allen. Yeah. Houston. You had to put Pippen on him. Yeah. Like there was just certain times that Jordan just. He's human. He just didn't shut everybody down to two points. That's what bothers mm-hmm. me. Yeah. That's, they act I, like he's just so yeah, God. Yeah. Like, oh, like he has no flaw. Right. Like, they act like Jordan has here. Like he has no flaw or whatever. Like what Kyle, what Kyle sent us when Skip talking about Jordan never got tired. And, and Kyle sent us an article showing Facts. people talking yeah. about Jordan, Jordan getting tired. tired. <laughs> this is just like, what do you, what do you, this he's human. This history right. gets on my nerves. But you're not going to sit here and say that, try to compare that. Bulls roster mm-hmm. to this Cavs roster and say they're on equal footing. You're not going to do that. Yeah, I bo- am sorry. I'm not going to let you do that. Yeah. You can't. That's no, unf- LeBron had, with this roster LeBron had, it was nobody near of a pick. And just watch yeah. the – you just said – you said it when you opened. Watch the games and you can see that. Mm-hmm. It's clear as day. Clear as day. Mm-hmm. So, no, that's – that's that, man, that, that got on my damn nerves. And, and, and even beyond just that's the roster. I mention, y'all. That's why I was like, well, I got yep. to send him this one. And even beyond the roster, 
that Bulls team had an identity. I've asked they all Bill Jackson. year. Jackson. They didn't yes, have Lou. Right. I asked all year, what is the identity of the Cavs? That's been my looming question this whole entire season. What are the Cavs? Right. Are they a defensive team? Are they a shooting team? What are they? They're and, LeBron. And, That's all they are. And, and Kyle, this is not trying to excuse the loss or anything like that because I know we were, we were talking in the, in the, in the, in the text. Uh, he still holds the L. This isn't about the L. No, it's not this about is the about L. Right, right. ninth wonder trying to say that LeBron, that the Bulls, that the Cavs roster, at least that's the way I took it, was on on the same level as Jordan, or trying to say that Jordan didn't have help. My Pippen. That's all I gotta say. Pippen and Pippen. coaching and Phil Bro, and <laughs> Phil. Pippen, Phil, Horace Grant. Rodman, and and, uh, and, and, and passing, they were putting up numbers. I looked Rodman, at it. Right. He had four pop people in double figures. Yeah. yeah, you know. So nah. So back to your point in the 2012 finals, the second year, uh, 30 for LeBron, 22 for Wade, and that next year, yeah, it dropped all the way down to 15. Yeah, that's all. That's all <laughs> yeah. I like. Yeah, yeah it, it, was, it, it fell off. He, he fell off he, bad. Yeah, that's that's. That's he was at the heel at the top of the mm-hmm. heel, and it was just like that first year was right at the that's top. That's we was like, oh, okay, he, he's coming down, like he's starting yeah. to come down. So yeah, um, when are we gonna see that with Brian this year? Like, I, I'm, it's like I'm. Wondering, he wants to play with his son. He it's actually like said that. Really? Oh, did he? Yeah, he actually came out. So it's like it. I'm wondering, like, when are we gonna start seeing the the, the Brian come down from the heel? Like, I don't think we are. That's I don't think crazy. we are. I, I, I think because I kind of thought we was gonna see it this year, but Mm-mm. this man had like one of his best yeah, seasons statistical seasons overall. ever. That's crazy. It's 15 he'll years. probably be like Tim Duncan. And Tim Duncan fell off. Yeah. But, but I like, think LeBron, I don't think he was spending $1.5 million to preserve right. his body. Yeah. Right. And here's the thing. I, I, I think that this is going to add to LeBron's legacy. I think part of LeBron's legacy is being that Iron Man and, and the fact that we're not going to see a decline like every other basketball player. I'm not saying that he's not going to have zero decline. You're human, bro. You, yeah. You're going to have a, a decline. He might pass Kareem's but, record. Jesus but his Christ. decline is going to be minuscule compared to every other basketball right. player to ever play the game. Like his decline might be 24 7 <laughs> Like that, that might be. Oh, like, 51% shooting. Right. That might be like, oh, he only averaging 23, 24 yep. points. Because like he'll get. He'll, seven. Yeah, he'll get smarter. He, he'll yeah. he'll take He might less. put up his rookie numbers. His rookie. Right. He, he, right. he was in mid 20s yeah, already. Like 20, like 20 a game. Like whatever. That's. Yeah, yeah, man. I, yeah. I, yeah, I think I think that's yeah. the history of LeBron, and and I think he he said it. He wants to play with his son. Last thing, this is that <laughs> son's roster: Charles Barkley, Kevin uh-huh. Johnson, who was a bad I, boy. I could t- Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me let, let me let me see how good my memory is. Okay. So they had Kevin Johnson, obviously Charles Barkley. They had uh, Dan Marley. Mm-hmm. They had um uh what's the um Oliver Miller was on that squad. Mm-hmm. Um, they also had was Cedric Sabalos on that mm-hmm. squad. Wow. I th- okay. Um, who else did they have? They had um, oh, he was a um funny look, Frank Johnson. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, who else they had? They had um, I'm just going through the roster in my head. Let me see who, who whose face do I recognize? Um, damn, I think I th- I, 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 I I think I might be done. I think I might be missing one of the most, I won't say the obvious ones, but I'm surprised you haven't named him yet. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Damn. Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Danny Ainge. Oh, yeah, Danny Ainge. This motherfucker. And Tom Chambers. But I think was Tom kind of the enemy. He was he was on his way down. Yeah, he didn't even play in that series. Yeah, I about to say I forgot he was on that roster. Yeah. Yeah, Danny Ainge. Yep. Yeah, oh yeah, he was him. Him and Dan Marley. Oh man, Thunder Dan. Yep. Yeah, yo, Thunder Dan used to be pulling. From yes, bro. Like yeah. That's what I about to say. Man. He was Steph Curry and Clay Thompson man. before them boys. I used to I, love playing with him on on uh, NBA the basketball. Jam. Yes, yes. NBA Jam and there's another. What's, what was the other one? Oh, be like, yeah, yeah. NBA Live. 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 Yeah. Bulls versus, Bla- yeah, Bulls versus Blazers. Man. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. R- Barkley. Barkley was killing it. Twenty six, thirteen, oh, yeah. and four. That was MVP Barkley. Kevin Johnson, mm-hmm. seventeen and seven. Dan Marley, fifteen. Mm-hmm. Richard Dumas, you didn't know Richard him. Dumas. That's who I was. That's whose face I saw, and I couldn't remember his damn name. At that ten points, nice. they were. Oh yeah, yeah. They had a nice I think system. That was, I think that 
Oh, mm-hmm. it's probably Jordan's best team. Like tough that he played play. against. Yep, yeah. I agree. Yeah, I Even agree. Tougher than the Utah Jazz. Is. I yep, think, I, I, be, be, only crazy. because they have more athletes. Yeah, you know, you you Utah, you like Jeff Hornets. Come on, man. Come yeah. on, man. Like Byron Russell was. He was the most athletic wing that they had. Yeah. Um, obviously, Carmelo and John Stockton. You know, you, yeah. you put him over here. But everybody else was weak. Yeah. yeah. That Phoenix squad so. was clearly Jordan's toughest squad. Yep. And yep. that was the first three seasons. And see, and even looking at that Phoenix squad, what two guard did they have? They, they didn't have anybody physically to compete with Jordan at his position? Nah. Yeah, no. Nah, Dan was... Marty? Hell no. Only Mm-mm. one was that Portland, man. Yep. Damn. Portland was. I remember that series. Like I remember. I was that a, too. I do too. I, I was a Clyde that because, Drexler yeah, fan. Yeah, because that was that was at that point. Clyde was like, un, like it was like Jordan. Yep, Clyde. Clyde, Clyde was, like was the second best. Yep. You know, the second best guard. So it was like we gonna have that Clyde. Yep. Versus MJ matchup. And, and you know, Clyde did his thing. No, he did. He did. It, it just did. you know, Jordan was just like who? Jordan had more. Yeah. Who? Yep. Who? So was like, let me show you why. I'm yep. One. Yep. And, and he's, he's yep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even close. It ain't even close. <laughs> yeah, that did it for me, man. I love Clyde. When he took out my boy, I was like, God dang it. And B, you would talk about their roster, too. That Portland squad, T- Terry well, Porter, uh, Cliff, Cliff, Robinson, Cliff Robinson, Robinson, Buck Williams. Yep, Buck Williams. Kevin yep. Duckworth. Yep, like, yep, 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 they, yep, they, yep. They were loaded, yeah. man. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. People sleep on that Portland, that yeah. Portland team, man. And, t- like, and Terry Porter Terry was Porter. nice. Shoot that bad boy. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. I was scared for my Pistons that year when. Man, they, they had they had somebody else too though. You said Jerome mm-hmm. Kersey. You said we yeah, we said Cliff Robinson. Kevin Duckworth. Oh, no. I, I, I want to say. Anthony on that squad? No, nah, he wasn't on that squad. Was he? On? No, 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 he wasn't. He wasn't. I think he, wasn't. He, he was backing up Danny Stoudemire doing what you mm-hmm. call low key work. And that yo, you know what? Portland's one of the few franchises to have great rosters. Ain't no way it's you. They. They had Lakers. They should, yeah. They, yeah. Well, yeah. they got that Steve stole. Steve Smith, Scotty Pippen, Arvita Sabonis, Bonzi Wells, Rasheed Thanks Wallace, yeah. uh, uh, Brian Grant. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Y'all niggas was 11D. They were supposed to beat the Lakers, man. 11D. Y'all niggas was 11D. Fourth quarter. They had fourth quarter. They had the Lakers. You know what I'll never forget about that? Um, they lost the Spurs. That shit. Spurs. That pissed me off. Yep, that's the toe. That was supposed to be Portland year, too. Ella Aldenabi. Yeah, when Kobe stopped the game with Pippen, and then they were tied. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see Steph, Steph put yep. Drew on yep. the soft touch? Yep. Like, yep. But you see, and here's the thing. So this is when they come in by Drew. You know, this is this is a situation that, that Drew had to deal with. And you know, he had to deal with. So from Jordan's first 